Alright, so here we are with Exist Archive. We're still working our way through this particular dungeon. I don't know if we can get like a... ...review of what we've done so far, because it has been a couple days since we last played this. Um, we can look at collection just those items or something. I guess items we've collected off of monsters. Uh, and these are different titles that items can get. And then there's the X titles, which are like better titles, I guess. Um, probably actually heal up Hanata. There we go. Anyways, let's continue onward. So, uh, it's just you? Yep. Five of us total, huh? Were you the ones behind the laser signal? No, it wasn't us. I guess it wasn't you either? Nope, not me. Then it's safe to assume that there's one other person out there somewhere. Sweet. Safety in numbers, right? <laughs> you sure about that? Don't be so certain that everyone's a good guy. Well, yeah, true, but still. I wasn't trying to be funny. What's your name? Tokahisa Kiria. Call me Kiria. I'm, uh, not exactly a good guy. Oh, you guys hungry? Well, that's nice of you. I don't think you're as horrible as you say. I'm just self-aware enough to know I'd never survive on my own. Anyway, you guys have any idea what this place is? At first, we were thinking it was the afterlife, or something like it. If that's the case, then we're all in hell. <laughs> Thankfully, no. We're guessing it's a planet with advanced technology. Really? Mm, hey, got any salt? I make my dishes to bring out the natural flavors of the ingredients. Ask Amatsume for some when you see her. Huh? What the hell? That voice! Oh, him? It's a long story. I'll explain everything along the way. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's a thing up there. Can we even get up there? Oh, we can! Got an elixir. I'm not even sure we're supposed to be... There was, I think, a tutorial about breaking those, but... Is there even anything down here? Let's see. Nope. Oh, uh, this jump is... Not the easiest jump to make, but we got it. There was like a Valkyrie Profile uh, mobile game that came out in Japan, and uh, this really reminds me of it for some reason. I don't think it'll get localized though. Um. What is it, Koharu? I just realized that if I don't have anything salty or sour, or even mild and sweet, life isn't worth living. It just doesn't work. Of all the things to bitch about. But there are sweet things here, like these berries, see? Mmm, <laughs> <Nom. laughs> so 
sweet and yummy. <laughs> All you need now is a minimum calorie intake in order to stay active. It is literally impossible for you to starve. Why care about flavor now? That isn't the problem here. Mm. Truly a high maintenance creature. Hey, Tagachi, you said I could ask Amatsume when we meet her, right? Yes, with her powers, conjuring up condiments is child's play. Is that a fact? Back then, we were all under a hazy, misguided impression that as long as we could reach the person named Amatsume, she would fix everything. But reality is always harsher than you think. Nothing ever goes as well as you hope it might. In the end, praying to a god in some faraway heaven is nothing but a one-way street. Hmm. That's a little ominous. Oh, another teleporter. A warp gate. I wonder if we have to kill like a boss or something. Ooh, this is a neat looking area. At the background too. Whoa! What the hell? <laughs> Caught you off guard, didn't it? Holy crap! Seriously, was that honest to God teleportation? Close enough. The air of this place is different from the other places we've been. Yeah, definitely feels like this is the right place. Long time no see. You look like you can barely talk. How much of your power did you burn bringing us all the way from Earth? Yamatoga, you've changed a great deal in the short time you've been away. You seem far more serene than you used to be. I haven't much choice in this state, do I? You look rather feeble yourself. Perhaps, like you, it could not be avoided. And who do you think is happiest to see us in this pitiful state? The Chasseur, of course. The Chasseur? Chasseur. They are the monsters that attacked you. Chasseur are hunters. They wander the universe, hunting and devouring souls. I protected this world against them for years. Then Yamatoga betrayed me. With great effort, I split his soul into twelve parts and scattered them. You thought I was gone for good, didn't you? Sorry to disappoint. My true self was contained in my right arm at the time. I thought I could reform if I got all my pieces in one place, but alas. And that one place was Earth? Had he been left to his own devices, he would have caused great damage. As an emergency measure, I made use of this planet's core mainframe. The radium system, to immediately draw his pieces back here. But the pieces of Yamatoga's soul had already become a part of us. So when you brought him here, you had to bring us along too, right? Correct. That was the only option at the time. Well, why'd you scatter him, though? Why didn't you just kill him instead? Look, if you'd done that, none of us would have been dragged into this mess. 
kill me? Have you already forgotten everything I told you? We don't care about your personal problems. Send us back home, now! You brought us here, right? That means you can send us back! Not going to happen. While possible, there are a number of things that make it unadvisable. Such as... There are two basic issues. One is that I do not have the power required to use the radium system. The other is that Yamatoga must remain confined at all costs. As pieces of his soul are fused with you, I cannot allow you to leave. You can't allow us? You did this to us in the first place! Amatsume, stop stalling and just get to the heart of the matter already. On death, all souls traverse time and space to other planets to be reborn. It's a fundamental aspect of how the universe works. The radium system is a technology capable of reaching into space-time and controlling the astral filament, the path departed souls travel. We are light years from Earth. There's no way to get back there physically. And only the dead can use the astral filament to travel space and time. All Amatsume did was collect my soul and its attendant data, you. Now, do you see how impossible doing what you're asking is? And Kanata and Koharu have already enjoyed the blessings of my power. Blessings? You mean immortality? Exactly. You can't die. Meaning you can't use the filament to get back. And anyway, your previous lives are over. Going back would be pointless. We can't go home? No effing way! What was that? Did you hear something? Yeah. Something wicked this way comes. It seems variants have arrived. There are no chasseurs that I can detect. Will they be able to get at us here? Probably not, but we should go to them anyway. Come again? Why should we willingly put ourselves in danger? So, you're not particularly interested in saving more of your kind, then? What?! Let's get moving. They may need our help. One last thing, children of Earth. As you have so far, you will need to continue to rely on Yamatoga's power. However, please do not forget his ultimate goal. And that is to gather his fragmented soul and be made whole once more. Do not allow him to sway you. <laughs> That's exactly what I want. Did you expect me to deny it? But you, Amatsume, sacrificed them all to preserve the status quo here. Are you actually telling them to trust you with a straight face? What does humans want? Yamatoga's no longer ulterior motives. Amatsume's big picture decision. And the Shasur. Dangerous hunters who want all of us dead or worse. All completely separate things with no common ground to speak of. And no obvious way to change that. Honestly, we didn't really know if it could be changed. Huh. I... I don't know if Yamatoga is all that bad. I mean, he's selfish and kind of wants, has his own agenda, but I don't know. Well, it looks like we finished that quest. We got a B rank, so we got a bunch of uh, items. 
And we triggered another quest, I guess. Can we go in or no we can't? So we're still stuck on this outer ring of whatever this place is. Um, and I guess this is the one we have to do. Suggested level 7 defeat the boss. But I think what we'll do is we'll cut this one short. Um, I just don't want to get stuck in ma uh, massive amount of cutscenes. Um, so we'll take a break here. Uh, next time we'll... Let me just check our items real quick first though. Yeah, we didn't get anything good, I don't think. Did we get a silver tie? Should we check that out? Yeah, we can just optimize equipment, I think. Yeah, so silver tie. And we got this guy, too. He's new. But I think we can only have four party members, right? Yeah, so we'd have to swap him in. I think. Anyways, we'll take a break here. Uh, next time we'll continue on with the main story. Uh, see what... Well, we already know what Yamatoga wants to do, but... I don't know. Anyways, till next time. Thanks for watching.